Hi everyone and welcome to day three of our 30 day challenge. I am so overwhelmed with the amount of people who have joined this challenge. So I actually recorded day two in advance just to make sure everything runs smoothly. So if you watched day two yesterday, you will notice I didn't comment on how many of you joined, but because I am now recording this, um, just before day three, I am so overwhelmed with the amount of you who have joined, who have messaged me, who have commented, who have sent me photos. Thank you so much. Keep doing that. It is a pleasure to get to know you and get to know that you are joining in on this. I hope you're finding it beneficial. Please let me know if you're not. Like I, um, I love feedback, so tell me what I can do to make these videos better. Okay, without talking <laughs> too long, because I know you're all eager to get into the exercises, today we have posture exercises, which is a really important one for me because the thing that I've really had to improve, particularly in the last four years, moving into a principal dancer role in river dance, I really had to improve my posture. So these are the exercises that I do every single week that help me so, so much. I am so grateful for these exercises. And um, I definitely notice a huge improvement in my dancing when I improve my posture. I hope you enjoy them too. The only extra thing that you will need is a towel to raise above our head or a foam roller or anything you can kind of just hold between your two hands and raise it up and down. You'll understand now when we start the exercises. As always, thank you for joining. I hope you enjoy this video and Let's get started. Okay everyone, so to get started, I want us to kind of warm up our shoulders, our neck, our core, our breath a little so we can really get working into that posture. So I want you to have a seat um, down on the ground, on your mat, your towel, or um, whatever you have. And just a seat that you're comfortable with. Crossing my ankles is always a nice kind of comfortable position for me. And I just, I'm gonna start with my hands on my knees. So just to start, we wanna kind of find that really nice tall posture. Like there's a string pulling us up and everything pulls up nice and tall. And from like the back of our head right down to our tailbone, it's just kind of one straight line. We don't wanna, um, I find this quite hard to do, we don't wanna arch, we don't wanna be back like this. We just kind of wanna be as best we can, one really, really tall straight line from the top of our head to the bottom of our tailbone, okay? So just from there, really simply, I want us to try and just work on our breath a little because um, breath in general, it might sound uh, strange, but it really can help you with so many things. It helps me calm my nerves before going on stage, for example. And um, it helps me get into a nice zone before I practice or dance or work out. So we're just gonna do a few deep breaths just to kind of heat up our core was what, which really we needed to be warm and strong to have a really nice posture. So take a nice deep breath in through your nose and relax. Good, again, deep breath in. One more for me like that. Good, love. Good, okay, this time whenever you're taking a deep breath in, I want you to feel like you're really bringing that breath into your stomach. So your stomach almost expands out. And then as you exhale, your tummy goes in, which is weird, we usually do it the opposite way when we're breathing. So the aim is that you push your tummy out when you breathe in. So you put your hands on your tummy. So take a deep breath in and you're trying to get your breath right down to your belly. And exhale. Two more like that for me. Good, so that kind of belly breath is something I'd like you all to practice every now and again. It is really good at giving your body energy for things that are coming up. Um, and it's good if you can try to incorporate it while you're breathing during the exercises. So give that a go, maybe just um, four breaths every night before you go to sleep. Okay, next one what I want you to do is when you breathe in, I want your shoulders to come right up to your ears. And as you exhale, they come down, okay? So deep breath in. Exhale, and then push the shoulder blades down as far as you can down your back. Inhale, exhale. Two more like that for me, inhale, exhale. 
on one more deep breath in exhale good okay we're just going to rock our head back and forth for a few just to warm up our neck our neck is actually a really important part of our posture that we sometimes forget about if you have a nice long neck when you're dancing and um, it gives an appearance of a really tall posture so for example if we're dancing with our chins down or to the side or back it's not as pretty as a really tall like again like a string is pulling you up so we're just warming up our neck a little back and forth for now is good and now I like you're nodding yes so head goes forward chin to chest head goes back forward and back good five more like that good and relax okay next thing I want you to do is take your right hand over on top of your left hand okay now maybe you just want to watch me once what we're going to do is we're going to take a deep breath in until we get our arms to the top so it's inhale and then exhale we follow our arm back Good, it's kind of on the diagonal. So inhale, take energy up, and exhale. Good, okay, so we're gonna go for three like that. What we're trying to do is kind of heat up our arms, our shoulders, our neck, um, and again, we're breathing to help us use our breath to improve our posture. So deep breath in, exhale, good in. Exhale, good, so good, so whenever you're doing that you want to feel like you're pushing your shoulder blades up and down, we're trying to work out our shoulder blades, okay? Alright, so now you can slide the right hand over, bring the left hand over on top of the right hand, same movement, so we're going to go for three, so deep breath in. Exhale, deep breath in, exhale, lift that shoulder up and lower that shoulder blade down your back. Good, so these are just lovely movements to do um, sometimes when you wake up in the morning or before you go to bed or I used to start doing these when I was a bit older and in the car on the way to dance class I used to just kind of roll my shoulders back and forth which we're going to do now warmed up my neck a little and tried to heat up my shoulder blades so that I had that nice tall posture but really getting the breath into our tummy because if our tummy's nice and warm we're not dancing like this we're dancing tall our tummy's nice and strong and sitting up nice and straight that's just the first few exercises to heat us up. So everyone, for the kind of the rest of this um, workout today, or nearly all of it, we're just gonna be standing up and really working in like our chest or shoulder blades, that kind of like um, th these muscles back here that allow us to kind of dance like that, nice and tall, okay? Um, we will be doing more posture and um, videos throughout this 30 day challenge because I think posture is really, really important. And then we will build on this posture throughout a lot of videos, okay? So again, warming up a little, but also working into our shoulder blades just to open them up. We tend to forget to stretch these things and we dance quite a lot. So we're just rolling around like this. Good. Turn to the side. Four. Good. Things like this are really important because we do try to stand tall with a good posture when we're dancing just as much as we use our legs. Good. Reverse the circles so your shoulders are coming forward. Your hands are really just on your shoulders to help you kind of feel the motion to help you make you do the full circle. Okay, so with these next few exercises, you're really not going to feel like you're doing much at all, which is okay. I remember the first time I tried them, I thought, what is this really doing? But I promise you, it will help your posture. You're working those muscles that we need to have a strong posture, posture, maintain a good posture for an entire dance. So the first thing I want you to do is just kind of hold on to your elbows, just like so. Good. Now, really important, all we're doing is we're going back and back to like the starting position. So we're going back. 
So watch how I'm rounding those shoulder blades back, okay? Everything else is relaxed, good. So if you join in with me now, we're gonna do like eight like that. Ready, and one, and two, good. Three, you're trying to isolate those shoulder blades. Good, everything else is relaxed. Keep your tummy tucked in to keep your abs switched on. Six, good, seven, good, eight, good. Okay, do you feel like kind of the muscles here and here working, okay? I'm trying to get into these muscles back here. So just do three circles back for me, two, three, and three circles the opposite direction, one, two, three. Good, now I want you to bring your arms forward. So I think ballerinas call this like first position and we're gonna do the same exercise. We're just gonna get, try and get a little bit deeper into those shoulder blades. So everyone ready? We're gonna do eight and go. One and two. Good, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Good, okay, now we're getting the hang of it. Now I want you to take your arms out to the side, okay? So yes, we don't often have to keep our arms out to the side when we're dancing, but again, it's just to try and strengthen those muscles, okay? So we're going to go and one, good, and two, good, three, really good, four, five, good, six, seven, and eight, good, okay. A few swings of the arms. I'm sure you're feeling your arms work quite intensely. Not even your arms, your shoulders mostly. That's what we're aiming to get working here. Okay, arms up nice and high. Again, like this. Good, and we're just gonna do the same thing again. So eight again. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Good, open six. Good, open seven, good, open eight. Really good, guys. Okay, next we're gonna take our arms back, okay? So, um, basically, a lot of the time, um, dancing, we kinda almost have to have our arms back a little, so they kinda rest like here, rather than here, or here, right? So we like to bring our arms back to sit like here when we're dancing, which is great, it's a, it gives a beautiful posture impression. But just notice yourself, you're relaxed now, there's not really any muscles really switched on. If you go like this, now there is a lot of muscles that automatically switch on. It's important we work out those muscles to help maintain a strong posture. So the first thing I want you to do again, we're just only doing eight, I want you to almost feel like you lift your shoulders up and back, so exaggerate it more than what you would when you're dancing. And then very simply, we're just gonna go one and two. Good, and three, okay? Sorry, we'll count eight now. I just wanted to show you the movement, okay? So bring the shoulder blades back and push the arms back. One, good, squeeze into the shoulder blades. You might be able to see my shoulder blades squeeze back. Good, two more for me. Last one, I want you to come back and hold. Hold it back, hold it back, hold it back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze into those shoulder blades for three, two, one, and relax. Good, okay. Next exercise, again, very, very similar. We're gonna bring our arms back and they're gonna stay back like that, okay? And then we're going to do circles. I'm trying to decide what way to stand for you to see. We're gonna do circles like this, okay? So we're just circling our arms while they are back. So again, kind of exaggerate the movement. You lift the shoulders up and back and around. Good, and we circle for eight, okay? Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now keep the arms back. I want you to do the, the circles in the opposite direction this time, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Really good. Now keep the arms back. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to pulse the arms. We're going to keep them back. We're going to pulse them up and down, okay? So this time we're going to do 16 little pulses. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-se
13, 14, 15, 16 and have a break. I was starting to feel it in my arms there as well as my back. So I hope you're doing okay so far. These are really good exercises guys. I know it doesn't feel like you're doing too much but I promise you it's gonna help your posture. If there's anything I have had to improve over the years and research exercises, ask physios for exercises, as the Pilates instructor that I um, always went to, and I now, I'm now a Pilates instructor myself. Um, so through Pilates is how I've really learned some of these exercises. Okay, we're gonna do another um, kind of round of all those exercises, and then we're gonna move on. So um, let's see, where did we start? So we're starting with the arms, the hands and the elbows, just eight. Ready, and go, open two, three, pushing down the shoulder blades, good, push them right down, seven, and eight, good, this position, eight, are you ready, and go, one, and two, and three, good, four, five, six, seven, and eight, good, arms out to the side, ready, and go one and two and three push the shoulder blades right down the back good and six and seven and eight good arms above our head ready and we will go one and two push them down as much as you can three and four five and six seven and eight good okay shake your arms out you're doing really really well next we have arms by our side and again we kind of exaggerate that pulling back good and we push back we go one good two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and hold Squeeze, 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 squeeze for five, four, three, two, circles now. Circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Opposite way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Give me ten pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax. Really well done. So you, okay, so you remember how at the beginning I told you guys to have like a rolled up towel or a foam roller or something you can raise above your head? That's where this is coming in now, okay? What we're gonna do here is we're trying to build strength in our shoulders, which ultimately helps our posture, but we're also trying to elongate our neck. There's little muscles back here, and if we get them working, it helps us um, when we're dancing to have our neck in the best possible position. So arms are in front and then you're going to lift them up as high as you can. Lifting the shoulders right up. So I want you to feel like really exaggerate that. Can you see how high up my shoulders are? Trying to touch my ears. Good. And then bring it back down. Push those shoulder blades back down as far as you can. Okay. So let's go for 10. Right up. And down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push it up. And three. Good. Really try to exaggerate it. And four. Good. And five. Good. Nice and slow. Slow does it better. Good. Keep going. Bring those shoulders up. Push those shoulders down. Bring those shoulders right up. Push those shoulders right down. Give me one more. Bring those shoulders right, right up. Squeeze them. I want you to hold. Squeeze those shoulders right up. And then push them right down. Feel like you're really pushing your shoulders down. Really good. Okay, the next one I like to call, um, it's, I don't know. <laughs> you know, whenever you kind of, someone asks you a question, you go, I don't know. <laughs> so that's what I kind of um, nicknamed this one. So basically you're going to hold the towel or the foam roller or anything, it could be a bottle of water and all you're doing is you're going to go, 
I don't know. <laughs> okay, like, I'm not sure. You know when you kind of shrug your shoulders like, I don't know, out in front? We're basically just shrugging like, we don't know. Ready? 10 of those. And down. Really bring it up. And really push it down. Good. Up. Good. Up. Good. And two more guys. Really exaggerate the up. Re exaggerate the down. Last one. And down. Excellent. Okay. So I don't want to keep you for too long today. I know I've done quite a lot of exercises so far. Um, but really a second repetition of both of those exercises would be excellent. Okay. So try to do two rounds. Okay. That's pretty much all the strengthening exercises for today. For today, like I said, I don't want you guys to get sore, so we're just going to do a very brief um, amount of stretching. So I just want you to dip your left ear towards your left shoulder. Good. Nice deep breaths in. And switch. Right ear to right shoulder. Good, head goes down, your chin to your chest. Good. Now just do a few little circles, not even circles, kind of just like semi-circles back and forth from our shoulders, not going the whole way around. Good, two more, one, and two. Good, okay, take right arm and cross it over, and just use your left arm to pull that right arm in. So just like that kind of, okay? Good guys. And now switch over left arm. Really, really good. And now we're going to take right hand and just bring it up over our head, okay? And then you're going to bring the left arm up to see if you can kind of make the fingers meet, okay? So we're stretching back in there. So just want to say whenever we are stretching, well done. Thank you so much. Day three, guys, that's brilliant. If you've done day one, day two, day three, that is fantastic, okay? Have you ever before done three days of technique exercises in a row? Possibly you have, maybe you haven't, but it's fantastic that you're committing to this challenge, so well done. I'm very, very proud of everyone who's taken part. Let's switch, so let's bring left arm over our heads and back, and then right comes up to reach. You, you know, you might only be here, that's okay, but try and bring those fingers up to touch. Good, okay, I am really enjoying the comment section. Um, during these videos. If you haven't done the videos at 12 p.m. that's totally okay but I do be on it um, around 5 to 12 and for a little while after just answering the live questions in the little live chat which is good fun but I'm loving the comment section all your comments about where you're from, why you love Irish dancing, your goals, your name, your age, I love it so keep doing that it's fantastic talk to each other too and again just let me know what I can do to make the videos better for you, to, for you to enjoy more or what we can do to make this really fun good and relax one last kind of stretch I want you to intertwine your fingers behind so intertwine just like that but behind and just pull those shoulder blades back again exaggerate it as much as you can pull them back good And I know I said last stretch, we're going to do one more. We're going to intertwine again and then we're going to reverse it. So we bring the fingers together and then we push the hands out. And we're just going to push up into the ceiling. Good. And then we're just going to push out and away as well. And just dip your head down in between your arms. Good. And relax. Okay. Well done everyone. I actually really enjoyed today and um, recording today's video because posture exercises is one of the things I feel most confident talking about because 
I have had to do them kind of my whole life since I was about 15 I kind of discovered that my posture just wasn't as good as what it needed to be and again last year when I was preparing for the 25th anniversary show of Riverdance in Dublin I really wanted my posture to be brilliant so I done a lot of research on these exercises and these are the ones that I find work really well. If you liked today's video please hit the like button. If you have not already make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of all the videos that are coming your way. Again thank you so so much. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys!